nag-email na gabi na naman ng One Music, I was like, wow. So, alam mo yung feeling na, alam mo yung, umama mama, nasa TV, ta- nasa TV kami, ganun ang pakiramdam. Ganun yung pakiramdam na, ang sarap lang na kasi pag, kasi pag kami nag-produce ng show, syempre, expected mo na yun, kung pinoproduce mo yun. So, binibenta mo sa rin yun mo. The fact na may ibang entity na would risk something like that, something like this, na, oh, wow, okay, wow, parang, wow. Ano lang talaga, parang nakakalimutan mo na you're part of it. Eh. Parang, oh, ang galing, parang just happy. And then, ay, ang galing, ay, teka, kami pala yun. Yeah. Kailangan kami pala, kaya kami pala yung kailangan mong produce ng show. You know, and yeah, when the second time you produce, parang you know what to expect, right? Like, Just parang, alam mo na yung plano, alam mo na yung mangyayari. Alam mo na kung sino yung mga pupunta. Pero pag ito kasi parang, iba yung, iba yung mga, iba yung, iba yung crowd, parang may ibang, you know, iba yung produce. So, yun din, like, I expect kami na siguro yung isipan mo, ipag, kung new faces ba. Tapos, Like it, like tulad na ito, may press call na parang pag kami produce parang wala lang sa Facebook na umunta kayo. <laughs> so yun, so uh, yun. Parang ano yun, big time! <laughs> so yun, uh, yun yun, may kasama ko yung stream for it. Eh. So kahit sa amin, sobrang ano siya, interesting yeah. and challenging and exciting for us. Uh, yun, yun yung pinaka, isa sa pinaka. First time kasi namin yun. So parang ngayon parang, ano kayo magiging tunog na yun? Ano kayo magiging, ano, mag-turn out ng song? Tsaka so, yung ano yun, nakakatawa dito yung mga fans. Kasi nung nalaman nila na may tickets na, sila yung nagre-report sa amin. Sa messenger group namin sa Facebook ng mga fans namin. Sila yung nagre-report na, oh, isa na lang yung Pedro, SVIP, baka may gusto kumuha. O gaito, may yung status. Like, yes, yeah. kasi kami parang, oh my God, pupunta lang, pupunta pa lang sila. <laughs> Ano yun? Kasi ako, <laughs> kasi ako, ano ako eh, parang siyempre I feel for them eh, na minsan nga pagka mag-charge ka ng more than uh, 300 pesos for a ticket, ako naawa ako kasi siyempre, I mean, sila naman yung pipila, sila yung mapapawisan kapag mainit yung mga, sila naman yung mapapagod, ganyan. Pero the fact na, yun, isa yun sa mga risk, sige, gawa tayo yung show, and then the proper, I mean, the proper amount, or the proper uh, ticket selling, ganyan. Pero sila, parang ano sila pa yung, Finally, sir, finally, may ganda kayo. Punta kami, ganyan. All of my friends na inakala ko, alam mo yung, alam mo naman yung mga, pare, baka may ticket dito. Sabi ko, ako nga, di ko alam, may ticket ako eh. <laughs> Nakakagulat lang na, bumili na po kami, bumili na kami, na tinatag na lang kami sa picture. You, you, you'd forget, kasi kung nasan na na ba eh, kasi parang dahil nga on a daily basis tumutugtog kami, so nakakalimutan ko kung nasan ba kami. Kaya nakakalain mo yun, nandito kami na may manonood, may magbabayad ng ganun para lang makita ang ito. Kasi hanggang ngayon, uh, blown away pa rin, pa rin ako dun sa idea na people will actually pay their money to see us by the So, yeah. Very well deserving naman din. Thank you so much. Sir. And um, follow up, may unreleased songs pa kayo dito tulad sa Jim Tony? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely the songs magkakaroon ng ibang flavor once na tumugtog ang Manila String Machine. Plus, if we be able to collaborate with our friends from the industry. As far as unreleased, then I'd love to do that. Every, my closest friends of mine, alam nila na uh, medyo mahilig akong magtapon ng bigla na lang alam yan. Parang, uy, ano yun? Kasi gusto ko yung element, element of surprise. Most especially for our fans and our supporters kasi because they deserve that. Uh, hopefully we get to, wala pa kasi kaming uh, initial results eh. So, so probably middle of June na lang namin ko yung exact set list. Nice, and I'll see you on Sunday in Kaloka. Nice, see you, see you. Thank you. Uh, hello, Maynays. Um, uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. I am Charles Jansen from Mark Plus Online. And, uh, The first time I watched Mayonnaise, um, I think you have a girl basis pa, and then so so many changes. Yeah. Yes, Monty was around since 2002, too. 
And I remember you are always a fan of your Kurt Cobain, yes. Smashing Pumpkins, and this is so uh, very um, into the kind of music that you are doing. So um, 17 years is a long time. Um, so have your influences um, changed or were they the same influences? And how did you adjust with the trend yeah. of the 17 years? Uh, uh, to answer that, it's really, you Yung ko, I have a kid sister. Oh, hindi na siya kid. She's how old is she? 18, almost 18. Uh, we share a Spotify account. Kasi bata pa siya, wala pa siya. I mean, basta, shelter. <laughs> so, nagahati ko yung Spotify account. Nagugulat na lang ako pag kita ko ang mga pinapahingan niya, yung mga Benet Ben, ganyan. So, naging into the music na rin siya, kapatid ko. Tapos, nagtanong yung partner ko sa kanya, oh, Yung mga classmates mo ba? Yan din ang mga pinapahingan. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but pinapahingan din ba nila yung brother mo? Sabi ko, oh, naman. Kasi yung mga trends, iba sa classic eh. Yun ang sinasabi. So, parang, oh, classic na pala ako. <laughs> <laughs> ang sagot niya nga, yung sagot ko doon, uh, 17 years is a lot, malak malaking panahon yun. Almost two decades. So, there's a lot of trends na nangyari. Marami mga genres na nag-evolve. A lot of artists and dumating at pumala at pumalik. When I write a song or when I arrange or produce a song for our band, ganito kasi, walang formula. But because of my deep love for artists, artists like Nirvana, Foo Fighters, and Smashing Pumpkins, may mapapahinga na akong kanta. Tapos, very dancey. So, madali siyang i-incorporate sa kung ano mong K-pop, ganyan. Pero pag ina-regulo ko na, bumabalik pa rin ako dun sa kung paano ako na. So that's my, my answer siguro. I love a lot of the new artists. When Four of Spades came out, I loved them so much. And then, um, sino pa, December, ah, etc. Uh, I belong to the zoo, ganyan. Pero napansin ko, pag kailangan ko na magsulat, Nirvana in utero ka na pinapahinan ko. Pag kailangan ko mag-record, Siamese dream of smashing pumpkins of pinapayan ko. I go back to the roots. Kung bakit ako nandito. Every time that I have a, I get a feeling na I go overboard in a sense, in a sense na parang masyado na kami, alam yun, napapalihis dun sa kung ano yung direction na gusto namin. Kahit nga, I watch a video clip of Nirvana. And then I naalala ko kung gano'n siya ka-rebellious, kung gano'n siya ka, alam yun, anti anti-hero and everything, and then I get to remind myself of, bakit nga ba ako nagbanda? Bakit nga ba ginagawa? That's why, you know, evolving, music will, will be always be like this, pero nobody forgets the Beatles, nobody forgets Nirvana, and something like that. Even the younger generation, they get to listen to these uh, artists. So ganun pa rin po ako. I listen to the new artists, regardless of the genre. But when it comes to the, you know, yung pinakadahil ng kumbahay ko ng banda, hindi pa rin nawawala yan. Kaya siguro we get to be able to do songs na nagiging relevant is the, the topics and the instrumentation could be different pero yung pinaggagalingan, yung pinakapuso ng kanta kasi yung mga idol ko pa rin. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And a good luck. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you for all the questions. I have a last question for you guys though. So, since it was mentioned a while ago and it was asked then, uh, you will be collaborating with a bunch of different artists. Can you name some of them for us? Well, I'm very sure that uh, RG of I Belong to the Zoo will be involved. That is, that is like the number one on my list. Too. I have to know, say thank you to him for doing this with me. See, RG is very thankful to me in Yellow Room. So I want to give it back, and I want to say thank you for trusting his music, also sa amin. And I think, siyempre ba? Alam alam ko gusto ko alam ko ah to be ano uh, yung to be honest. Uh, meron ako kaibigan banda yung aksulta. Uh, so kung sila tulungan, dahil na sabi ko kanina na palagi naman kami tumutulong. Parang Pili ko may magagawa kami ni Jai na maganda. And hindi ko alam kung officially, pero lagi kong kinukulit si si, si Josh, 
Si Lahay, Pagpatelik. Pag nakikita kami sa mga gigs, na someday, sana, we can do something. Kahit na isang kanta ninyo, kung ano, who knows? So, yun. Sobrang exa, super. Sobrang exciting na to. Congratulations again, guys. Thank you so much. Sobrang congrats. Yes. A warm round of applause for the mayonnaise, guys. Thank you. Okay.